It's Mirror's voice. So this is our new uh, 32 amp perchlorate cell. Yes, you heard that right. 32 amp perchlorate cell. So temperature is now 47.4. It makes use of uh, two pumps for active cooling. The reason why there's air is to increase heat transfer by creating turbulence in the surface. I, it seems very futile, but that's all I've got for now. It uses a vin one, that one, that other pump has a venturi, which allows the introduction of the air. That's our operating current. Yep. And I'm feeding it through a pump. It's running at about five volts. And this is my. Uh, this will determine the uh, current running through the cell. I just have to change it because it changed right now. So we end up with 204.82 milliamps per centimeter squared. 1.7 is the resistance of the shunt. I've tested it before running. Uh, 154.8 is the, uh, cur uh, the uh, surface area of the electrode. And yeah, we're operating at this current density. It should take about 0 0.9 days to finish when the, as I checked it in that online calculator. But I'm going to run it for more because I don't know about this efficiency. The cathodes are uh, actually made of graphite because I'm so sick of titanium. It embrittles, it starts bending towards the other side, and it's the most annoying thing ever. Now, one thing, one thing to note here. So if I cut the venturi, you can see that this... It's hard to cut the venturi. You can see that the cell actually looks clear, which means that there's no bullshit happening in there like electrodes corroding. This is the first time I've ever seen the cell run clear. I've used a new plating process which which, which is at an elevated temperature. The uh, bath consists of uh, lead perchlorate which only needs lead metal to be immersed to regenerate it. And it just uses an aquarium heater to keep the temperature 40 degrees by partially submerging an aquarium heater. It will not be able to actually read the temperature going through it, which means that it will run hotter. Uh, small note to people who keep fish, do not partially submerge your aquarium heater. Anyway, yeah, as you need the current has gone up now. And that will be it. So in a few hours, this should produce quite a lot of product. I'm going to leave it for a day though, or more.